Hello everybody, welcome to an exciting tutorial from Kanye's Arts. My name is Seanak Patwardhan and today we are going to create this fluttering paper effect in After Effects. Make it look like the paper is in a windy environment. This stuff is pretty simple and you don't really need any external plugins for this. In fact, I did this when I was fairly new to After Effects, so this is kind of a beginner level tutorial. I once did a trailer in a similar style and another place where I think it can be used is for Valentine's Day. Confused? Check this out. Okay, so let's get into it and let the secrets unfold. Get it? Paper? Unfold? Alright, so once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition, Main Comp. Let's call this Main Comp. 1920 by 1080 is good, 30 FPS is fine, press OK. Alright, so this is your main comp. Now, we need to create a background texture and we need to create the paper that we're going to be using in this tutorial. So, create another composition, same settings, let's call this paper comp. Go to the main comp and drag the paper comp into your main comp. Let's import a couple of textures create another composition now this will be the background comp and this will be 3000 by 2000 pixels 30 fps press ok go to your main comp and drag the bg to your main comp as well now let's import a couple of textures uh, by the way, if you double click in this area, you can uh, import files or you can just go to file, import file, it does the same thing. Now I've created these two textures for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, I'll leave a link to download these textures in the video description. So if you want, you can go ahead and do that. Let's import these two textures. Go to your background and drag the background texture. This is a 3000 by 2000 texture, so all good there. Go to your paper comp and drag the texture paper to your paper comp. Now this is a bit larger than the scale, uh, than the composition size, so press S to reveal the scale property. And let's resize this a little bit. Okay, we are all set there. Now let's change both of these layers to 3D layers. Just click and drag on this cube icon. Now go to layer, new, camera. 35 millimeters is good. Press OK. Now I don't generally like to move the camera all by itself because you have to move the camera and then the target. I know we can have a camera without a target but I really don't like it. So I normally prefer to use a null. To move the camera so let's create a null as well turn that null into a 3d layer as well and uh, parent the camera to the null all right so now let's rename the null to camera control and let's resize the paper comp a little bit just a touch think 65% is good now we need to animate the camera control in in a way where it kind of shakes just to give that dramatic effect to the whole thing so let's add a wiggle expression to the position property of the camera control press P to reveal the position property now I'm going to put in a wiggle expression but I need a little bit of control over the values of this expressions so before we start typing in the expression let's go to uh, let's add a couple of expression sliders to this so go to effect expression controls slider control press enter to rename this uh, let's call this frequency and press ctrl D to duplicate this press enter to rename and let's call this amplitude now go to the position stopwatch and alt click on it to open up the text field for the expression and type in wiggle open parentheses now take this pick whip and drag it to the frequency slider control comma and then again 
with the same pick whip, drag it to the amplitude slider. A parenthesis to end the expression and uh, it's a good habit to end the expression with a semicolon so that's what I'm going to do and press enter. By the way this enter key is the one that you find on your numeric keypad or you can just click anywhere except the text field and the expression will be applied as well. Now if we change the values of this a little bit you can see that the expression is animating the camera. Now we first need to start animating the camera control. So let's go to around 15 frames and open up the position property of the camera and let's keyframe it. Now go back to the first frame and let's drag it down a little bit. Quite a bit actually. Now as you can see the background layer here uh, kind of ends here and I don't want that to happen. So let's go to effect stylize and CC repetile expand this layer down by around 2000 units there you go now while this edge is there that's fine uh, that will anyways get blurred once we have the motion blur on so so I don't really mind that edge over there length of the composition is a bit too long I don't think we need more than uh, 20 seconds so if you press N you can mark the out point of this composition and then just right click and click on trim comp to work area and I'm going to expand it a little bit let's move the position further down a little bit we have enough space here and let's change the quality to quarter for now just so that it becomes a little faster to preview this okay uh, by the way this BG I have expanded it down because uh, I'm using the lower part of the BG if you want you can animate this camera from any angle but you'll have to expand the other borders as well just for now let's do all the borders 2000 okay and let's change these keyframes to easy ease so if you press F9 on your keyboard you can change these to easy ease keyframes all right let's preview this a little bit first second maybe press N to mark the out point of the preview Okay, I'm going to remove these values for now. We don't really need them at the moment. I'd like the in animation of this to be a little more snappy. So drag this keyframe slightly backwards. Let's preview this again. Okay, that's cool. Now, uh, I don't really like fight texture of this paper so let's give this a bit of a color go to effect and color correction try to and you can give this any color you want I'm gonna try a bit of blue that works with me okay go to the main comp again I'm gonna reduce the size of this a little more I think 50% should be good okay let's type in something here Okay, go back to the main comp. Let's start with the fun part of this. Go to the paper comp. Go to effect. Distort. And go to CC page turn. Change the controls to classic UI. And let's change this to... Yeah, this is good. Change the fold radius to around 170 units. Light direction is fine. Now if you move this, you will see that it's kind of transparent. The paper is a bit transparent. So let's change the back opacity to a full 100%. And I don't really want the front of the paper to be seen on the back so we are going to have to create a different comp let's duplicate the paper comp 
by pressing Ctrl D and let's rename this to paper backside. Press enter, open up the comp and remove this. You can change this to any color by the way, you can just keep it to the default color, that's fine too. And drag this comp to your uh, main comp and disable it, you don't really need to see that composition. And change the back page to paper backside. Now if you see, this will be the back of your paper. Uh, now I need this paper to flutter continuously in this area. So let's go to the fold position of this paper and I'll click on the stopwatch to give it an expression and let's type in a wiggle expression 5 and 60. Also we'll animate the fold direction by another wiggle expression 4 and 10. Take a preview of this. As you can see now the paper has a bit of a natural windy effect like it's blowing in the wind or something. Okay, uh, duplicate the page turn effect by pressing Ctrl D and don't worry about this weird effect that's happening right now. We'll well correct it in a bit. Change the fold direction to 140 degrees. Now this is the opposite side of the paper and let's move this a little bit. So that it looks like this slightly different than the other one but still uh, a very similar effect on this one the fold radius also let's change all of these parameters a little bit 140 degrees is good let's move that out of the way a little bit now let's really start animating the paper the first thing that we're going to do is bring the paper inside the frame from the outside so go to the fold position property of the second page turn effect that we have in here click on this handle okay first keyframe the fold position property uh, go to the 25th frame and keyframe it I'm just gonna drag this keyframe to the 25th frame so nothing changes and go to the 10th frame and let's animate the paper inside first let's drag it out And I'm gonna change these to easy ease keyframes by pressing the F9 key. Select them and press the F9 key. I'm gonna delete this tray keyframe that we have on here. We don't really need it here. I don't even know when it happened. Okay, let's preview this. Okay, so now what I want is I want this paper when it's coming inside, I really want it to smooth in as it comes inside. So click on the fold position property and click on the graph editor icon. You'll see a graph like this. Now to smooth the paper out, click on the second keyframe and drag this handle in a little bit. By the way, press the shift key while you're doing it so that it doesn't really move from this line. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the camera control position. Select the second keyframe and drag the handle to the left. Close the graph editor. Take a preview. Okay, that's already starting to look good. I really like the way it smooths in. Maybe I'll make it a bit slower. I don't really want it to animate that fast. Yeah. As you can see now, it's kind of smoothing inside, so I really like that effect. It's really looking like it's sticking to this uh, wall texture that we have here. I need to make this look a bit more dynamic. So now I'm going to animate the wiggle expression that we created on this camera control earlier. Go to the 25th frame or something and uh, let's keyframe both of these sliders. Press U to reveal the keyframes on this layer. And I'm gonna change these values to maybe 5 on the frequency and 4 on the amplitude. Go back a few frames, about there is fine. And change this to 7 and the amplitude can be 
25. It could be any values, I just want it to be a bit more shaky when it's coming inside and then gradually it slows down to a little lesser of a shake. And I'm gonna change these keyframes to easy keyframes again. Let's preview this again. Okay, now I'm really starting to feel a little bit more of a dynamic effect on this. Now as you can see the paper is kind of showing before I want it to be seen so I'm just gonna cut this layer before it actually shows. And for the final part, let's add a bit of a zoom to this camera. Let's go to the position property and once it comes in and the paper also animates inside Let's give a, give a bit of a zoom to this camera. Preview this. I'm gonna give this a bit of a rotation as well. So press R to reveal the rotation on this camera control. Let's keyframe the Z rotation. Press U to reveal all the camera properties and uh, I want the Z rotation to start at the same time when it starts zooming in. So let's change this a little bit. These keyframes will also be easy ease keyframes. And I want this to be a bit snappy as well. Let's change the graph a little bit like so. Same with the rotation. Now you can have more fun with this tutorial. Maybe you can change the color of this paper. We already have a tritone on it. You can either change the tritone or just put in a hue saturation effect and maybe experiment with the colors on this. There you go. You can even change the back page of this. You can change it to anything you want. There you go. That's the end of this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to me on YouTube or follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I'll post the links in the description of this video. I'll be creating a lot more exciting tutorials in the future. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, Seanak over and out. Thank you.